let's talk about type inference in Golang. So from one of the previous videos, you know that this is how you can define a variable in Golang, right? And then when we output the value here, let's see what happens. Sorry, I need to remove this double quote. And you get the value 99 here. So uh, what's happening here is that 99 is the value that you want to assign to i, which is the variable, and the type is int. And we have to de define variable like this, var. Now, what if I don't want to write var and int and all of this, and I just want to define the variable, and then Golang should be auto able to automatically infer the type. There is a way to do that. i dot notation is equal to 99. Now let's try it and run this code and see what happens. So you get 99. This means that Golang was able to automatically and accurately determine the type of this value and assign it to i. Right. So this is called as the short variable declarator. And you'll see this quite commonly in Golang. Now with the help of this, that means that we have three ways to uh, declare a variable in Golang. Declare and define both actually. So first is that you declare it and then you define the variable much later on into the code. The second is that you declare and at the same time uh, define it like this in the same line. The third is using the short uh, variable declarator that we just saw. Right, so there are these three ways. Now let's try and output what happens here, J and K. So all these three will work perfectly. And this means that all three of these are valid. Now they're used in three different scenarios though. So I'll explain to you when each of these has to be used. So the first one you'll use when uh, you want to declare a variable, but you want to use it much later on. For example, there's a function, right? So you know that later on into the function, you will have, you will be receiving values from somewhere and you would need two to three different variables. So you'll declare them in the beginning and then much later on into the code, you will define them with those values that you'll receive. The second one is used when you feel that uh, Golang doesn't have enough context to assign the type or infer the type of this value. In this case, in this example, it's quite clear that 94 is an integer. So uh, Golang will be able to infer the type very easily, but there are cases in which Golang is not able to do that. And we'll be looking at that in one of the future videos. The third case is when you're uh, sure that Golang has enough context to uh, infer the type of this uh, value. And in this case, you'll use the short uh, declarator, shorthand notation, right? And uh, so basically all of these three are uh, valid, right? And as we have seen the output, they work, it works perfectly. Now there's another way uh, to declare variables. And let me show you that as well. So you can write var and you can write these uh, round brackets and then you can define multiple variables at the same time. So first name and then the type string is equal to Akhil and then you write last name string is equal to Sharma and then you can write employee id int is equal to three. So all these three things at the same time. And then you could write first name and last name and then employee ID, right? So it works perfectly fine. So this is something also pretty common because sometimes when you have to declare a lot of variables, you can just do it uh, with this in a shorthand manner, right? So I hope this video was helpful. And if you're liking these videos, do subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching.